This presentation has been made upon request from the people I met over time, all the way from the one-legged lady in the park to small business owners in the U.S. and heads of state, all of whom I've been fortunate to meet. All have their angles to cover, and here is mine and how my home country, the Faroe Islands, are going for world record in taxes. So here's how the system works. As you can see from the chart, each column are taxing levels or thresholds. The more you earn, the more taxes. Hence, an aggressive, progressive tax system. And there is no escape whatever income you do have. At only 5k US dollars in earnings, a 25% tax kicks in. At 72k plus, which is the top marginal tax, you'll stride the ride up to a whopping 55% in effective taxes. I know what you're thinking. Now this got to hurt, and it sure does. Due to the fact that many years of tactical investments and welfare competitiveness to our neighboring countries and a supersized system bodyguarded by the NPR has cornered private enterprise, newcomers, and hard-working people between a rock and a hard place, as seen here. Is the gap between challenge and fortune the cause of brain drain? Have business drive inhibitors turned this place into bad soil for good ideas? Are small businesses crunched and outplayed by indifference and higher government wages? Who wants to make new investments in a place with pending population stagnation? With a tight liquidity market, whom do you turn to for kickstart venture capital? Why are tax cuts downplayed and declared as enemy action by the NPR? So do you have a gut feeling that we are future ready? And to top it off, sales taxes are 25% and a long overdue paper draft non-implemented 401k target of 15%. How did all this happen? And where does it lead to? So, what do you think?